to look really the way that I want it to look. Uh, I'm liking this. What I want to do here is I want to put in some other transitions though. So I'm going to take these couple of images here and I'm going to select the two of these and then under selected slides, I'm going to go to transitions and I'm going to just do cube on this so we can see different transitions for different uh, pictures. And on these two, I'm going to, or these three, let me do fade to black in the background. And let's take a look at that again. Okay, this is looking really much better. I'm gonna just leave the uh, Franz Ferdinand song in the background rather than going back to the Minuet in G song, um, just so we can keep working on this. But here's one thing I wanna do. I'm not entirely thrilled with the way the audio is working. So what can I do to adjust the audio? Well, I'm gonna double click on the audio track. So anywhere up here on the title of the audio track. And when I do that, it will bring up the uh, adjustments for that particular track. And so it is Catherine Hit Me is the song, what's my volume, what's my fade in, and what's my fade out. Now we're going to look at the reduced volume of main track in a second here. I'm going to turn the volume up just a little bit. I want it to fade in a little bit faster than it did. And at the end of the track, I'm going to want it to fade out a little bit slower. Now we've jumped to the end of our slideshow, and let me take a look at the last couple songs and see how the song is fading out here. I'm going to move my playhead, I'm going to hit the space bar to play. Okay, that was fading out a little bit fast, so let me change the fade out here. Now the fade out will fade out longer. The reason you want to change the fade out length on here is because if I have a very short fade out, the music's just going to stop really abruptly when it runs out of pictures to display. So let me show you that. Now I've put a very short fade out. I don't think that that sounds good. I think that a very short fade out makes it sound unnatural. A very long fade out makes it sound like the song is just sort of going away in the background and the pictures are over. I like that a lot better. So now we're going to take a look at the interoperability between Aperture and some of the other programs that Apple makes. One of the great things about Aperture is that it ties in to iLife and iWork and the Mac operating system so the programs all work together as a single ecosystem. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch over to GarageBand and GarageBand is a program that's in iLife. And I'm going to create an audio track that I'm now going to bring into Aperture. So I'm going to set up a new GarageBand voice uh, track. So I'm going to choose track. I'm going to call it My Wedding track and say create and it's going to make me a new file and when it makes me that new file I'm simply set up to record audio here and I'm going to hit the record button do you Cheryl Turk take Wendy Palacio as your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold through sickness and health till death do you part Great, now I've made a traditional sort of wedding vow here. I'm gonna just click on this really quickly. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna just choose the live performance setting because that live performance setting is gonna put a little bit of reverb in the background for me. And let me just play that to hear how that sounds before I save that out. Do you, Cheryl Turk, take Wendy Palacio as your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold through sickness and health? To... Okay, so it's a little bit corny, but we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna hit save, I'm gonna save my file. I'm going to come up under share and I'm going to choose send song to iTunes. Now this is going to put it in my playlist. It's going to tell it that it's my name and it's my album and I'm going to have this song created in iTunes. So if I go to iTunes right now we'll see that this song is available Do you, here. Cheryl Turk? Great. Now I'm going to just jump over here to Aperture and when I jump over here to Aperture if I click back on iTunes you'll see that my wedding track has come back here. Do you, Cheryl Turk, take Wendy Excellent. Palacio? So now we've got that track over here in Aperture. It automatically updated because all of the programs talk to each other, and I think that's really incredible. I'm going to take this audio track. I'm going to drag this audio track down over here to the picture of Cheryl. When I do that, you'll see that the audio track now runs underneath these pictures here, and it's going to show me that the audio track runs this long, and it ends at the end of this track. That's fine. So I'm going to simply double-click on this to bring this up, and I'm going to have it reduce the volume of the main track. I'm going to reduce the volume a little bit more. I'm going to reduce the volume to 30%. So this is reduce it to, not reduce it by. I'm going to just close this box out here and I'm going to come back to a couple of slides before and let's hear how that sounds now. I'm going to move